Hello, Internet. It's Egg wearing our notorious RBG hockey sweater and our Macho Man Randy Savage glasses. And today we're going to talk to you a little bit about Mr. Dave Chappelle. Dave Chappelle has always been a comedian who uh, skates the edge of what would be considered acceptable behavior in his jokes. Uh, he has over the years had a good way of balancing the uncomfortableness of humor about uh, people of color with humor, funniness, right? <clears throat> but in his latest special for Netflix, he made some jokes about trans people, of which we are one. And we have heard from a lot of other members of the community and allies and other members of LGBTQIA community that have done a really good job of explaining why we're upset by his latest comments and he even said in another setting after the, the special came out he said uh proudly we're proud to be team turf in, in in that many words now if you don't know what turf is uh well we're gonna burst your bubble here if you don't want to hear it but uh, so if you don't want to hear it, skip the rest of this uh, video. But TARF stands for Trans Exclusionary Radical Feminism or Feminist. And it's a term that people have been using as an umbrella for people like J.K. Rowling, who do not believe that trans women are women. And as a non-binary gender fluid person, neither male nor female gender presenting we feel like we're a part of that we're uh we're a part of those people that are being excluded from feminism and be, from being females if we want to be uh, well that doesn't sound right but because it's not a choice it's a uh, it's matching closer to your identity and so it's yeah well let's just start that over okay <laughs> so we do not subscribe to the notion that people who uh, more close make changes in their life to more closely identify with their chosen gender identity with their see we even said it and that's part of the problem here is that because the discourse around this has been so much about choice like being gay is a choice or being transgender is a choice and anyone who has done any kind of reading on the subject and really thought about it for a minute would realize that nobody would choose to go through what uh, a person who is transitioning goes through because there are surgeries involved, there are hormone treatments involved, there are uh, numerous anxieties about the way you dress, the way you look, the way your face looks, the way your lips look, the way your hair looks, um, the way your lack of hair looks. And then you add on to that, the people out there who do very real violence to trans people uh, and whose aims in life are to exclude trans people from their, our access to basic human rights. And 
in a lot of countries, including in the United States, it's a very long drawn out process to, to conform your identity to your internal identity, to who you are. And it takes years for people. And sometimes medically they can't do things because of other health issues. And for Dave Chappelle, who is a, a person with a lot of money and a lot of fame to make an unfunny joke in a crude way and then celebrate it with other people afterwards is very anxious, anxiety inducing and also rage inducing for an understandable reason. It would be just like if you told one of our children that because of who they are, they do not have the right to be who they are. We wouldn't stand for that. We would want our children to be able to live close, closely as they can to their true nature, to thrive. And so it's a direct attack on us uh, and all of our friends and allies uh, and really you know, human beings who have thought, who have the understanding of different ways of looking at things. It's a very poor choice that Chappelle has made. And look, we can't cancel Chappelle. His, his uh, show was, is still raking in bucks for Netflix and for him. He's, he has a multi-million dollar contract with Netflix. He can do what he wants. It's a shame then that with his platform, he chose to punch down to a group that is to many uh, intersections of oppressed people who've been oppressed and are oppressed even to this day. So... <clears throat> We won't be watching Dave Chappelle's content from this point on, and we won't be uh, engaging in this conversation any more than we have to. We will, uh, we would love to hear what you think in the comments if you want to uh, place a comment. Um, but yeah, and, and the other thing that really bothers us about it, and we mentioned on Twitter yesterday, by the way like, subscribe, um, leave a comment. You can follow us on Twitter too. Uh, we said on Twitter was that it's not like there aren't literally hundreds of thousands of people who are trans or allies of trans people or members of the alphabet mafia who would have been ha happy to help uh, Chappelle craft a joke that was trans friendly, that was funny as well, which he instead he ended up telling a joke that was trans exclusionary and was not funny. And in our book, as someone who's studied comedy for a long time, who's listened to Robin Williams and, and Chappelle and all these people talk about comedy, we, we know that comedy doesn't punch down if it's uh if it's good comedy if it is punching down then it's not good comedy uh, and that's just uh, that's our opinion on it you can disagree if you want to but um so yeah it's it's also an example of internalized oppression where even though Chappelle has can see the, the, the racism in society and culture and the sexism in society and culture, although he's questionable sometimes on that, uh, he can't see that transphobia and homophobia, frankly, that is 
evidenced in his jokes. He's just like Ricky Gervais. And, and they think that they can play it off by saying, oh, you know, it's just a joke. Laugh. Ha ha ha. It's not just a joke to uh, trans people who are murdered every day because of their identity. And so that is our thoughts. Like we said, we'd love to hear from you in the comments or whatever. And uh, it's a beautiful day where we're at. So I uh, hope it's a beautiful day where you're at. And uh, internally, I hope it's a wonderful day for everyone. Take care. We'll see you uh, on the other side of the internet. Yeah. <laughs>